Perseverance, courage, and determination. Because it takes perseverance, courage, and determination to enter into a new country, to learn a new language, and then to work very hard to excel. Um, and so I just want to say congratulations and continue to persevere. Your courage and determination will take you far. And with that being said, I would like for you guys just to know that when times get hard, think about what you, what you have now been able to accomplish because it wasn't easy. And um, you can take that spirit and, and persevere through anything. Congratulations. time I would like to introduce Dr. Delgado, the superintendent of Farmington Public Schools. Thank you, Dr. Hurley, and good morning, everyone. So I am Chris Delgado, the proud superintendent of your Farmington Public Schools. I'm so pleased to join this year-end celebration and would like to extend my congratulations to our Farmington adult ESL graduates. You can clap for that. You know, when I joined Farmington Public Schools last year, one of the first places that I came was here to the adult ESL program. I knew then that this was a very special place, one that welcomed all of the members of our school community, including your children, to this school district. I knew that it was a place that helps you learn to grow and engage with each other. I learned that it was a place that values the beauty of each individual person and encourages you to share your culture with one another. It also encourages you to learn about American culture and the English language while not losing um, track of your own culture and your own celebration and your own identity. I know that along with uh, Mrs. Nicholson, Dr. Hurley, and your wonderful instructors, Mrs. Fatel and Mrs. Davis, we are extremely proud of you and want you to know how fortunate we are to have you as part of our school district. As you'll hear this morning, we have over 30 graduates from nine countries representing 17 languages. And so I would like to attempt a very personal congratulations to you all. So I would ask if you hear a word that sounds familiar to you, you can wave your hands, you can cheer, you can stand up and whistle, and then we'll know if I'm actually pronouncing it correctly. So we'll see. So let's try this. I, will, I have the list of the graduates and the languages that you speak and the countries that you come from. So hopefully everyone's here this morning and we'll see how this goes. So I will start with, for me, an easy one. Felicidades. So if you understand what felicidades means, can I hear a who? Okay. Donde esta mi gente latina? Mi gente mexicana? Hay una chilena? También? Una chilena, okay. So I know Spanish, so, so that helps me. So felicidades means congratulations, and I'm going to try to congratulate each and every one of you. So you can cheer, you can get excited. So let's see about this one. Ometeto. All right, I got a reaction. Let me try that again. Ometeto. Right? Okay, congratulations. How about this? Pitayu. Ukraine, right? Ukrainian? Pitayu. Okay. How about this? Konghi. Konghi? Is that close? Okay, Konghi. All right, congratulations. How about Tahanina? Tahanina in Arabic. Congratulations to you. How about Yindi Nuai? Ah, see, it works. Yindi Nuai in Thai. Congratulations. Valtuke. Valtuke. Maybe I'm not saying that right. That's supposed to be Tamil. No? Or maybe the graduate isn't here? Is that close? Okay. 
we'll move on. How about this one? Abinan Danalu. Abinan Danalu is supposed to be Telugu. Anyone speak Telugu? Okay, we will move on. I practiced all night. <laughs> this is supposed to be Canada. Abinan Danegalu. No takers? Okay. Well, congratulations. Anyways, Abinanten in Marathi. Abinanten. All right, we'll keep moving along. How about in Russian, if I can say this right? Postravlinya. Postravlinya, okay. So we have Russian, we have Ukrainian. Postralinya, okay. How about Sukai Ayo in Korean? Maybe I said that wrong. Anybody? Sukai Ayo? Sukai? Sukai Ayo. Sukai Ayo. Okay. Sukai Ayo. All right. Congratulations to you. How about, this is supposed to be Urdu. Mubarak Ho. Close? Mubarak Ho. Congratulations to you. Uh, Bad Hai Ho. Bad Hai Ho. Supposed to be Hindi? Anyone speak Hindi? Well, that's supposed to be my version of Hindi with a little Spanish accent. <laughs> How about this? Mis Brasileños. Parabéns. Any Portuguese? Parabéns. I don't know. Your teacher gave me the list, so I don't know. <laughs> and then there was one who said, maybe you speak Italian, so congratulazione. Congratulazione. Okay. Okay, bueno. So congratulations. Your culture, your language, your individualism matters. Even that you're in a country that is welcoming to you, and it's a, it, for many of you it's a new country, um, but your individuality matters. Culture matters, language matters. And so we appreciate that you make us better by sharing all of who you are with Farmington Public Schools. We're happy that you're here, we're happy that your children are here, and we're happy that you're a part of Farmington Public Schools. And on this very, very special morning, just a heartfelt congratulations on your huge accomplishment of graduating from the adult ESL program. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to do a couple of different things right now. We're going to put a thank you in to the staff so Dr. Hurley has a presentation for that, and then I will follow. Um, I am Suzanne, I'm the program manager. So um, Dr. Hurley, if you want to do yours. We'll do it together. <laughs> All right, so we cannot do this program alone. So we have teacher assistants, we have some ladies that come back um, as classroom volunteers, and those are the ones that have tested out of our program, but just hate to leave us, and they want to give back, so they come back as a classroom volunteer and help in the beginning and the intermediate classes. So we're going to start with the volunteers. So we have um, Patricia Morrow and Durrani Natarajan. Oops, you want to come up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, ladies. And now our uh, teacher assistants. So Luciana Meda and Regina Gisbrecht. So what the students are getting from the program is, yeah, notebook and our pen with our logo, so they don't forget us. like Christmas presents everywhere all right and now for our daytime staff 
Um, as some of you know, we do have an evening online program as well. So that um, presentation will take place tonight at 6 o'clock. Um, but for the daytime, we have three wonderful teachers. <laughs> yes, I'm going to say that. Um, we have Sarah Fatel, who does the advanced level. And, and Stephanie McMaster, who does the beginning level. And I'm the third teacher. Um, I do the intermediate level. <laughs> so what the teachers are getting is a coffee mug. You know, so they think of us over the summer when they want to be off and not think about us at all. Okay, so now we've come to the part of the program that everybody has been waiting for. Uh, we have one of our students from Ukraine. He is a professional musician and he has, um, he's going to grace us with a couple of songs. And the first one he wrote himself, and the second one he is playing from an American guitarist. And he has traveled through the United States, Canada, and Europe. And so he's just going to play the instrumental versions of these songs. Um, so we don't, we'd love to hear them in English, but He's working on it, so uh, maybe a few years that he'll come back and uh, be able to sing them for us in English. So we'd like to welcome Alex Mohulevsky. Mohulevsky.
Thank you. Okay. All right. Fortunately, I have my loud teacher voice anyways. I don't know if that was necessary, but um, I teach the advanced class. Um, I can't tell you how fortunate I am to get to work. Um, I had a really amazing group of students this semester. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. I was just so excited to come in and get to work with them every day. Um, I just, I love my job so much because of their kindness, their hard work, their dedication. So here we have some students they are going to share a little bit um, of what I got to see and work with every single day. First up, we have Regina Gisbrecht. Good morning, everyone. My name is Regina Giesbecht, and I'm from Russia. I moved to the U.S. two years ago, and I was a student here in this school. This year, I have been a teacher assistant in the beginner class. Our school gave me so much, a new language, new friends, new opportunities, and a new start. All these years, I was thinking how lucky I am to be a part of this wonderful community. I always enjoyed every lesson and every school event when I was a student. Now I can also say that I enjoy helping my teachers teach new students as well. Not just teach, but create a uniquely welcoming and supportive atmosphere that keeps people coming back even after graduation. The school is not walls or rooms in the school is the people who make it what it is. I love these people and I am grateful to them for every day here. Thank you so much. Спасибо. All right. Next up we have Haruko Minato. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and the prestigious uh, guests. Uh, it's an honor to be here to make a speech in graduation ceremony. My name is Hana uh, from Hiroshima, Japan. Now, President Joe Biden is visiting my hometown with the G7. By the way, I came to Michigan four years ago. Unlike other Japanese families who come to America when their kids are younger and who get to experience life in America with them, my daughter is older and uh, lived in Japan, so I didn't have any occasion to experience American culture and the schools like those families. That made me feel downcast and feel socially isolated. However, I realized that it was a blessing in disguise. Since I started attending these ESL classes, fortunately, I was able to have many opportunities to explore the area on the field trips and to learn about American culture through these things, such as St. Patrick's Day Party, Easter egg painting, scavenger hunt, and the visiting the Ford Museum, and the, especially for me, riding on a yellow school bus, <laughs> which, by the way, was on my bucket list. <laughs> what fun activities. Only learning English in the classroom is boring. I couldn't see the forest for the trees. However, through these activities, I finally learned what America is like. 
I also made friends with many wonderful people. Thank you very much for your great support, Suzanne and Sarah. You are the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Haruko. Next, we have Aisha Imran Abidi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Aisha Imran. I'm from uh, Pakistan. Uh, I've been uh, living here uh, for the last uh, eight years, and it's my uh, first ever degree here in US. Uh, it has been an, a great uh, learning experience for me. Uh, teachers, my teachers are always uh, very dedicated and supportive. And I would uh, really like to thank uh, my, all my teachers for their support and patience. Uh, this program has uh, given me uh, a lot of uh, confidence and it will, uh, it will help me in future, in my future pursuit in, in this uh, country uh, to study uh, again. Uh, once again, thanks for my respected uh, teachers for all your support encouragement throughout uh, our uh, the learning journey. Uh, and last, uh, Sarah, uh, uh, for your one speeches, I think because of that, I'm able to hear to um, speech in front of everyone. Thanks so much. Thank you. Next, we have Padma Elongo. Hi, everyone. Good morning to you. Yeah. My name is Padma. I am from India. I have been living, uh, living here for 10 years. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to express my thanks for this ESL and CTE program. I would like to thank adult ESL and city program manager, Ms. Susan, uh, for uh, sponsoring my medicine course, CMAA Medical Coding and Billing. I'm truly grateful for the support and encouragement that you have provided. And also, I would like to thank my teachers, Ms. Sarah, Ms. Patricia, and Ms. Stephanie. I would like to, so, uh, all of your dedication to your students is truly admirable and I am grateful for the extra time and effort you put in to help us to improve our speaking skills. Thank you, Ms. Sarah, for being more than just a teacher, you are a friend and your role model. Your explanation is always clear. You have created a positive environment in which I feel more comfortable expressing myself and sharing ideas. I appreciate your creative and engaging lessons that made learning fun and exciting. Thank you for being such an inspiring and dedicated teacher. Through my CTE program, we got our proper guidance for the resume preparation, interview ideas, cover letter preparation from my teachers, Ms. Patricia and Ms. Stephanie. They always come with new ideas about job culture here. Thank you for being patient with us, for never giving up on us. Thank you for being such an influential and nurturing teacher. Thank you once again for everyone. Your impact on our language learning journey will not be forgotten. And I, I always look back on this class with fondness and appreciation. Thank you so much. Amazing, okay. Uh, next up we have Digna Lara Godoy. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Digna, uh, and I'm from Chile, and a long and narrow country in South America, in the end of South America. 
and I speak Spanish. So when my family took the opportunity to come to live to the United States, I was afraid. For, uh, and for almost five years, my husband lived and worked here, and my daughters and I were still in Chile. My great fear was the language barrier, not understanding that the people were saying to me, so when I moved to Michigan, uh, it happens more than once, and I felt so frustrated, and I just to cry. One day when we are registering our daughters to attend the school at Lanigan Elementary, uh, the English teachers who took the admission test gave us the information about the ESL program for adults at Farmington Public School uh, uh, that uh, teach. Uh, what you hear now is the result of everything that came after. Uh, speaking English now, understanding when uh, the people speak to me, reading a book, talking with my daughter's friends, talk with my teachers and my daughter's teachers, watching a movie in a theater has become possible after a year in the program. The team that work in the ESL program make this possible of all the immigrants that arrive without knowing the language. And they not only make communications possible, but also getting to know each other between the different cultures, making new friends, generate, generating new affective bonds that is so important for, for all of us that we uh, left, we have to left our families in our country. Thank you, Sara, for all your support, and thank you so much uh, to the team for all your work. Keep doing what you do so far uh, with love and passion that you put into it every day. And thank you to my family that support me and be patient with me all this year. Thank everyone and have a wonderful summer. You, uh, all of you deserve it. Thank you. All right, next up we have Sachiko Marizawa. Hello everyone, and congratulations to all the graduates. First of all, let me tell uh, something, one sentence, but it's, I really think so, I don't want to graduate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start my speech. Uh, my name is Sachiko Matsudawa, I'm from Japan. I'm honored to have such a great opportunity, and I'm going to tell you how much I appreciate this Farmington Adult ESL program today. I moved to Michigan almost two years ago due to my husband's job. It was in the middle of the pandemic, so I couldn't meet my family or friends in person before I left Japan. Of course, I had no friends here. Then I spent one year without talking to anyone except my family. I've always felt alone. In addition, I'm a big fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. It's a team, team of, from Ohio, and I know that many Michiganders don't like anything about Ohio, so <laughs> I feel awkward when I wear any Bengals gear in Michigan. For these reasons, sometimes I feel this is not my territory. It's kind of a away game in my life. Anyway, put aside my Bengal story, I believe everyone needs a community to talk or share our feelings or information for well-being. Connection to others is especially important for international residents like us. Now, I don't feel 
I don't think I'm, I'm wrong anymore because I finally found my place here. So I'd like to appreciate this wonderful Farmington Adult ESL program for giving us to improve our English skills and to meet people who have similar concerns. We could learn not only language, but also how to live here. Thank you for giving us the opportunity and saving, giving, thank you for having us. And thank you for guiding us to the higher places. And I'm also very thankful to all of the members who make, manage this program too. In the end, this is the most important part of my speech. I'm going to tell huge thanks to my super duper gorgeous, awesome, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> nice, the best, and who are the mother of two kids and who don't like going outside camping and who like peanut butter chocolate. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's my greatest teacher ever, Sarah. You are always trying to be a very best and uh, putting a smile all up on my, our faces every day. Your delight and impressive motivated us so much. Thank you very much. I love you. And again, thank you very much, everyone, and congratulations. Arigatou gozaimashita. Next up, we have Ikari Uzuka, Izuki. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ikari Izuka from Japan. I attended an advanced ESL class. It was my first ESL, cl ESL class since I moved to Michigan. At the beginning, I found it challenging to communicate with people in English. I struggled to come up with even simple sentences. Additionally, it was very difficult to find an ESL class for mothers who have toddlers. And I know many Japanese mothers have been using this child care. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to learn English and take care of our kids during classes. It was also a great step to, uh, for my son to be introduced to an English environment for the first time, and he really enjoyed being here too. Throughout the class, I gained confidence in speaking English, especially during the one minute speeches and discussion which were good practice for me. I appreciate my teacher, Sala, for always providing us with fun and engaging learning classes. And my classmates are good at speaking English, all of them, which motivates me to improve my English skills. We came from diverse countries and backgrounds. It was fascinating to hear their unique life experiences we often shared personal stories and our daily struggles, family issues, and asked for each other's advice. We also shared recommendations for fun places to visit and good restaurants. I'm grateful to get to know them better. I learned a lot about American culture and events, which were always enjoyable. In conclusion, I want to thank you all again for your support and encouragement. I'm proud to have been a part of this class, and I will carry the skill and knowledge I have gained here with me for the rest of my life. Thank you. All right, next up we have Anastasia Koroneva. Hello, my name is Anastasia. 
Originally, I'm from Russia, but I have been living in Ukraine for 14 years. ESL classes make a huge difference for all whose native language is not English. Your knowledge, support, and help are priceless to us. I'm grateful to Farmington Public School uh, for the great organization of the studying process. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Our, yeah, uh, our ESL class throughout this year was the safest place uh, to improve my English, practicing our speaking, ask a lot of questions, uh, learn a lot about cultural differences and American life and history. I'm grateful, deeply grateful to Patricia and Stephanie for our ESL, uh, for our career training education class. I have a big previous work experience, but there are a lot of difference in American business culture. We had a lot of practice and got constructive feedback. Now I have my brilliant resume and I became more confident in my future here in the US. Thank you, Suzanne, for your efforts and the incredible opportunity to be enrolled uh, in the MedCerts program. Now I'm studying to become a certified medical front office assistant and administration specialist. Studying is not easy, especially the anatomical part. But I feel very excited and inspired, and I, I'll do my best to be successful in this field. Thank you, all of you, from the bottom of my heart. All right, thank you again to our wonderful speakers. Um, that was amazing, and I'm sorry I'm doing everything right now. It's taking everything to uh, keep it together <laughs> and be professional. So um, <clears throat> now we have the presentation of diplomas and certificates for our graduates and advanced level students. Come on up. OK. Um, we'll go ahead. Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. All right, first up, we have Haruko Minato. Padma Ilongo, Digna Lara Godoy, Sachiko Marazawa, Aisha Imran Abidi, Yukari Izuka, Anastasia Korneva, Wendy Carmen Sandoval, Yuka Kuroda, Maiko Ogata, Thank you. Mizuki Otake, Vera Ribashopka, <laughs> Adrian Rodriguez, Congratulations. Sachiko Takei, <laughs> Naoko Tamatsukuri, <laughs> Parachatra Panchatron, Yuru Zhou, Zhao, Reem Haddad, Mariana Alcaraz, Chuck Booker, Yuzi Lin, Atsuko Nakamura, Moe Nozawa, Olha Rudka, Mike Rudka, Yoshi Sato, and Swapna. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, congratulations, graduates <laughs> and advanced level students. As you can see, uh, you can see why uh, I have the most amazing job uh, and why I look forward to coming to work every day. Uh, next up, we have uh, Suzanne, who will be presenting certificates for her intermediate students. Okay, so I have the privilege of working with the intermediate level. And for those of you not familiar with adult ESL, the beginning level is um, what 
is equivalent to a pre-kindergarten to second grade English. And then um, intermediate is like a third, fourth, fifth grade English. And then the advanced is sixth, seventh, and eighth. And our program is funded by the state and federal government. And so these are the guidelines that we follow. And so our graduates are actually now on a high school level. And so that is why they sadly have to leave us um, because our grants don't cover that high. So um, we have Chicago Amakusa. <laughs> Anna Bustos. Juhi Chung. I'm sorry, Juhi. Num Tarn. <laughs> oh, dear. I left my list in the room. Um, and in case you're wondering where all their diplomas are, uh, something happened with the printer and they disappeared. So all the students will get their certificates after the event. So we have half of them here, and the other half are somewhere in the netherworld. We don't know where. Okay, so Miho go to. My Gino. Shiaki Kasai. Miki Mochizuki. Durani Natarajan. Patricia Mora. Annalise Sasada. <laughs> Tomoko Ayumu. Shinobu Yokoyama. And Sayumi Yuki. All right, so now we have the beginning class. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let me tell you, this class, uh, every class that I have, they become my family. And this class I am so proud of because so many of them came to my class knowing only a few words of English. Hi, hello, and so shy so painfully shy, so afraid to make a mistake. And I don't blame them. I would be the same way if I was to go to another country and not know the language. But to go from that point of not knowing more than a word or two of English, a few of them, maybe a sentence or two, to now they are writing sentences, they are speaking their sentences, they are asking questions, they're actually having conversations with each other, coming into the class with big grins on their face. Hi, how are you? I'm going to miss them, every single one of them, so much. So I'm going to say congratulations to everyone one at a time. So this is... One of, I know you're not in order, that's okay. Um, <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> I have this just so I can pronounce the last names correctly because there are no Jane Doe's or John Doe's here. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Luciana Meda, who is one of my assistant teachers. Congratulations. Next is Michael Coma. Whoop. Oh, well, you're not Michael Coma. You are <laughs> Regina Grisbeck, the other, the other assistant teacher. Now, Michael Coma. Congratulations. <laughs> Ethioma Vivian. E Beziako. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, Yanath Briciano. Chiaki Minamimoto. <laughs> Natalia Mohi Livska. I think I did it right. Congratulations. And her husband, Alex, Alex Alexander Mohi Livski. Akiko Ota. Miku Ozawa. May. Mutsumi Yorifuji. Fuji, sorry. Oh, so sorry. And I practiced and practiced. And last but not least is Wen Sheng Yuan. Roller skates for next year. Okay, so we have an amazing um, new award. This is the Perfect Attendance Award, which we've actually never had one before. Um, we actually had somebody who has perfect attendance and didn't miss a single day this year. And I'm not talking about the teachers. Okay, um, so teacher assistant Regina Gisbrecht actually had a perfect attendance of 366 hours. And so, Regina, if you'd like to come up. And in second place, uh, they were so close that we just had to give it to all three, uh, was Luciana Maida, who the other teacher assistant, and she had 345 hours. And then Mizuki Otaki, she came in two hours short of Luciana at 343 hours of English instruction received this year. So ladies, if you could come up, please. So some of you might not know that my background is in advertising. I was in broadcast TV and radio production. Um, so branding has been in a part of my life forever. So uh, this is what they're getting. So again, the logo, right? Show us off wherever we go. So Regina. Luciana. And Mizuki. Diaper cakes? It's an expo. Okay, uh, so part of what we do, um, I was given a challenge several years ago in our old building when I had 40 students in the room and the director at the time said, you need to come up with something for CTE. And it was career training education. And I said, okay, what on earth can I do with 40 people in a small room and nothing but tables? Well, I had just made a diaper cake for a friend of mine, and it dawned on me, hey, we could do this. So we have done it ever since, and what we do in the intermediate level is for the month of May, we do an actual diaper cake company. So they have to come up with a company name, a logo, a mission statement, 
They have to come up with an idea for a product. They have to list the cost. They have to look at their employees, um, how many are they going to have, and they're usually in groups of three or four. And so how much are you going to get paid? How much are you going to, you know, where are you going to be located? You know, um, we talked about rent. Some years we include cursive writing and checks and, you know, savings accounts um, and that type of literacy. And so this year uh, we have seven ladies. Uh, what we do with these cakes is that the women in our program who have either had a baby or are currently pregnant are the recipients of the cakes. So, um, do you want to get Callie? Mm -hmm. Call her? Okay. Uh, so this year we have, go ahead. All right, uh, so Sayumi. <laughs> this one. Go ahead. All right, and Norma is one of our evening online students. So she's not here with us today. And then Mara Elsidi, she, a couple of our ladies dropped already due to pregnancy. Um, good reason, they, you know, can't make it in anymore and they don't want to waddle into class. So, uh, go ahead. And Sabina Valladolova. Katrine Cavinson. Darina is also one of our evening online students, and this is her daughter. And then Callie, who we're trying to get, um, she is the school secretary who also does a lot of things with our um, adult ESL program. And so these ladies are going to get these cakes. So after the program, if you wanna take a closer look, these were all put together on Tuesday um, by our students and we had a challenge to see how long you thought it would take to make these cakes. Now, I had told them already, one person takes four hours. And so one of our groups said they'll have it done in 30 minutes. <laughs> it didn't happen. It took them three hours. So uh, anyway, they put a lot of work into it. And one of the best parts about this project is the fact that they had to practice English because somebody on their team didn't speak their language. And so they had to learn a lot of new vocabulary. What is it we're going to say? How do we say it? You know, what is the word for? And uh, when I first told them about the diaper cake, they're looking at me like, what on earth is a diaper cake? And so then, um, but now they know. And so anyway, as soon as Kelly comes down, um, do you know which one is yours? Did the girls tell you which one was yours? Your cake. <laughs> which one? Do you know which one? All right, the ladies from Sayumi's cake. You wanna come on up? The ladies who made Sayumi's. May. Yeah, come on up. Okay, and then the ones who made the one for Callie, come on up too. Callie, come on up.
Okay, so I guess they say I can't be heard back there. <laughs> Too much of an echo. All right, so um, Callie had asked for that, well, told us that her theme was woodland creatures. And so our ladies took it to heart, and they not only created this cake, but if you notice the bigger fox heads on here, these are slippers. <laughs> so we're dying to get a picture of Callie's feet in these really big <laughs> fox slippers. So something for the mother as well as the baby. So all parts of this, there are all kinds of um, toys, pacifiers, socks, uh, onesies. There's diaper wipes in all of these, uh, sippy cups and all different types of things that they put in here that the mother can use. And one day, one of these mothers are gonna come back and tell us how long it took them to take the tape off of each of these diapers. <laughs> so Kelly, this one, let's get a picture with, with the ladies with you. Bring it down to you later, Kelly. <laughs> All right. Sayumi, if you want to go ahead and have the mothers come in. Okay, so child care mothers. Okay, so now we're in for a treat. We have the youngest uh, folks coming in. And so part of our program, we have three parts. One is the career training education that meets on Fridays. And students have the opportunity to um, work on three different career paths through um, our program, which is funded by a separate uh, grant than the ESL is. And so they have a choice between IT and CMAA, which is Certified Medical Administrative Assistant, and then CDA, which is the Early Childhood Preschool. Uh, so that is what we do on Fridays, and then their programs are online. And they spend about an additional 20 hours working on these programs in English. Um, so they have to attend ESL classes, you know, Monday through Thursday, then they go and they do all this extra work online. So um, that's the second part. The third part is early child is our uh, daycare. Now, now. Five minutes? Okay. <laughs> Alex, we may have to have you play again. Um, so uh, the other part is our child care and this is for students um, in the adult program um, who have children who are 18 months to four years of age and when they reach age four uh, then they graduate out of our program so we have three of those this time and then unfortunately when the mothers graduate out the children go with them too so um, we do have a few of those this year and so they come they learn English they learn how to get along um, the crying usually only lasts the first week of school. After that, they, they pretty much stop crying. And they look forward to coming and seeing their friends. And you're gonna see some activities of what they do up on these slides. So Sarah, go ahead and hit those. Okay, so our lead para, lead para pro is Paola Chimacero, and her assistant is Miriam uh, Montoya. And then this year they also had a, an assistant from the advanced class. She had tested out of the program and she didn't want to leave, so she volunteered to help out. So Mika, and go ahead on the pictures. So here they are.
So their highlight this year, um, they added something new. They did a Mother's Day tea. You'll see that picture in a minute. Okay. And so they went all out and decorated the room and made it an official tea. They had little teacups and saucers that were actually out of paper, so nobody had to do dishes. And so um, the children really enjoyed that, and the mothers came in all dressed up, and uh, they got a lot of great pictures on that. So they will make it in. All right, so does anybody have a question about the program while we're up here? <laughs> we'll answer anything. So if you ask me a question, be expecting an answer, and we'll be talking for a good half an hour. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Sarah, um, she had two children while she was working here um, and a couple of years apart, and so we made her two, di two diaper cakes and her second, so the second one you're still working on cutting the tape. Yeah, we've always wondered how long it takes. 20 months. So by that time, they're no longer in that size of diaper. Lots of fun. So how many enjoyed Alex's playing today? Yeah? I noticed that none of you were doing this at a concert. If you're old enough to remember that this used to be a lighter, now it's the flashlights, right? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Paola Chumacero. I am the lead parapro in the child, pre child care ESL program. And my name is Miriam Montoya. I am parapro in the child care ESL program. Okay, thank you, Mans. Thank you so much for sharing your children with us. They have learned and grow a lot during this time. Okay, first, uh, we will give the certificates to our three children graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations. The first is Enrique Arellano. Yosuke Ogata from Japan. Rodrigo Vite from Mexico. Next children, her mother graduating, so children also leaving. 
Rael Izuka from Japan. Next one is Ritsuke Otake from Japan. <laughs> the next is Yusuke Takei from Japan. And the last one is Mitsuki Ogata from Japan. And we also congratulate our children for finishing the 2022-2023 program. Haru Minamimoto. Haru. Hasuya Nosawa. Karen Yuki. Koki Yori Fuji. Kokomi Koma. <laughs> Richie Gino. Osawa. <laughs> and Yoshihisha Ota. it and thank you. Thank you so much. All right, like I tell my uh, class, number one thing trait to have in life is flexibility. You never know what's going to happen. You never know if you're going to be like me, <laughs> server, okay? I want to, um, this is the close of the program. Let's give all of our students another big round of applause. Great work, everybody. Another round of applause for Alex, our special music. Thank you. Thank you for all of our guests who have come. It is, has really been a
privilege, a pleasure for myself and all the other teachers to be here this year and to have a small part in your education. So now there will be um, photo opportunities. Pardon? Can't you hear me? <laughs> photo opportunities and refreshments in the back. What have I forgotten? Anything? Yell at me, Suzanne. That's it. Okay, so, so have a great summer, everyone, and congratulations. Woohoo! Let's celebrate. Take some, come up and take some pictures with your friends and come over and have some refreshments, okay? Thank you very much.